Hello world, this is Mac Miller. This is everything you need to know about me. First billboard I was on, the year was 1998. It was cold that year in Pittsburgh. It was for a company called UPMC. My mom, photographer, was doing some work for them at the time. And they said, hey Karen, we need a cute kid. Karen said, look no further, I have produced one. So they come at me with a thermometer. They say, put this in your mouth because that's the idea for the billboard is you're sick. Immediately I get into character backstory and I take some time to just you know do some character research, visit other sick children, take temperatures, just figure out what it's like to have a temperature. <coughs> um, after conversations with temperature victims. <laughs> 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 so like after I did all my research, I show up on set, I remember the looks on those children's faces when the numbers hit 101 and 102 and I, and I give gold. And at that year, 1998, you could drive to the airport and to the right, right before you pull in and depart, just <laughs> you would see a boy just sick of being sick, you know? I was great on the football field, man. I had a strong career up until eighth grade. Starting fullback, captain of the team, go out there, throw a block, put someone on his ass, touchdown. Hand off to me, I see an opening, no one wants to block for the kid. The dude that was blocking, I think his name was Daniel. Fuck you, Daniel. And, um, you know, they took out my knee, torn meniscus. Did I go out of the game, though? No. I didn't. But I finished out that series on one leg, hopped over, got lit up, and I crawled off the field. And it was then that I knew that I was here for something else. <laughs> so going on my football career, it was a big political time as well. The world was making... <laughs> the world was making its way to political change. On one side you had Al Gore, on the other side you had George Bush. W. You had a George Bush sign on your fucking lawn, I'm, I was coming for you. Take the sign, paintball your house, disrespectful. How old was I? About 13, 14, but fuck you, you know? I do think I played a pivotal role in that election, made people think twice. <laughs> do I feel bad that they probably had a really hard time cleaning up? Yeah, I live with that every day. Action. Growing up, if I wasn't leading an army of preteens onto the gridiron or playing my role in, in uh, political activism, I was watching movies, dabbling in cinema. Now, Pittsburgh is also the home of, of uh, a lot of movies. So the next movie coming into town was Mothman Prophecies. So I'm at basketball practice. I leave my team, and they're, they're not happy to see me go, but they know it's something I have to do. <laughs> Into my mom's Toyota Sienna I get. We head over there to auditions. It's open call. So there's a lot of amateurs there. They all saw my billboard. Passed the first round of flying colors. I think that was just the cuteness round. And boy was I. On to the second round. Started reading lines. Made it all the way to the finals. And they said, hey, you smile too much. And that was the end for me. Yeah, I took it to heart. I went on a deep, dark depression from six to eight. Those years were rough, man. At the age of eight, I started smoking cigarettes. That's real. I couldn't work. I was blacklisted. Couldn't do a commercial. No more billboards for me. I was typecasted. It's horrible. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. Hell yeah, I had a crush on Raven Simone, man. My friend Dylan and I, we used to watch Disney Channel. That's it. That's all we did. It's Disney Channel because the commercials are still Disney Channel. Do you understand how crazy that is? It's just commercials for what you're already watching. It's nuts. That's so Raven. <laughs> <laughs> That's so Raven. It's the future I can see. That's so Raven. It's so mysterious to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it probably took a lot out of her. I mean, now she's on The View and she's had to deal with knowing what was going to happen before it happened for a long time. It probably takes a lot out of you. Like, Raven cared when no one else would. <laughs>